That is 54 inches long and 41 inches wide. It is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the smallest production car ever. And what I'm sure you're expecting me to do now is introduce Richard Hammond. But what I'm actually going to do is drive it to work. All, um, six foot five of me. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. I'll have to... Hang on. Leg... Yes, leg first and then... Yes! Built on the Isle of Man in the early 60s, the P-50 was said to be almost cheaper than walking. It cost £198 and did 100 miles to the gallon. The Peel van is not only a handy way of getting to work, but it's also pretty practical when you get there. Normally, the BBC make you um, more up in an underground car park where the bays are only big enough for ethnic peace bicycles and fair trade gee whizzers. But because this is smaller than an ethnic peace bicycle, I don't have to worry about parking at all. The great thing about a car this small is that it's very light, which means that when you get to work, you just pick it up and carry it inside. Soon, I was summoned to an important BBC meeting. Most of the people going would be walking, but I was running late and decided to use the car. department's this? I'm really lost now. Companies have held talks with government ministers about how to handle the number of claims that have resulted from last month's floods. The total bill is estimated at about one and a half billion pounds. Mark Simpson is in. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Eventually, though, I made it to the top-level BBC seminar. I believe we've already made significant inroads into the implementation of an open and inclusive policy for the ethnocentrically homogenous objectives of this department. But I'd like to say that climate change is the biggest threat ever to face the peoples of this world. And minimising our carbon footprint through the functional usage is a key responsibility of anyone who uses a photocopier. I hope that in this session we can discuss and address